Alright, so I'm back with another Sims 4 video, and this is the realistical ugly house right here, and I'm going to be renovating this. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, and it has a garage. I'm not even going to lie, this house right here kind of looks like my childhood house a little bit. It's basically set up like it, but let's get right into this. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove these ugly windows and doors from the exterior, and I'm going to end up keeping this same paint swatch. I'm just going to change out the foundation for this nice white foundation, and if you you guys haven't seen my last video i'll break down all the changes i'm going to be making to the channel as you guys can tell if you're watching this video by now that the name of the channel has changed to rsj gaming because i'm thinking about maybe adding more games later on and i just feel like i want to switch it up and just use something different than sims underscore remodel because i'm going to be doing more things in the sims than just remodeling houses but as you guys know this is what i started with well not actually what i started with because i actually started like with different build hacks and build tips and stuff like that but renovations are my i guess my strong point in the sims so i'm still gonna be doing the renovations i'm just gonna be adding more content to the channel and with me doing these videos with my, without my face in it is quicker to edit and i can get more content out there all right but let's just go ahead and change this roof pattern on top of this house add some white roof trimming and then i'm gonna use the average naughty windows i'm gonna use the wide one over here on this side for the rest of the house i'm just gonna use these little single ones so i'll place like two up here and as i go room to room i'll add windows all right so in this kitchen this kitchen is a little bit outdated well it's very much outdated so let's just go ahead and remove all this stuff this is like appliances and cabinets from the early 2000s so we're gonna get this stuff out of here um, i'm gonna go ahead and paint all throughout with my basic standard paint swatch and now we can move back into that kitchen so in this kitchen we're gonna go ahead and remove this window remove this ugly door oh we need to add floors okay so in here i'm gonna use these bowl of cherry wood floors and i'm gonna use it in this dark brown color so we're gonna run this all the way throughout except for like in the bathrooms now we can move over into this kitchen in this kitchen i'm gonna use the home chef hustle kitchen pack cabinets and i'm gonna use it in my favorite color we just gonna run four down and then right here i'm trying something new i'm gonna build a wall on this side and then a wall here paint those two and then slide a refrigerator in between there and grab my half a tile cabinet and place right above that all right so back over into this kitchen i'm gonna do a cooktop here the ovens will go here i'm gonna just take that place it raise it up a few times copy that cabinet place another one right up under it and then copy that oven and just slide it there like that and now we got a double stack oven um let's grab the upper cabinets again and place here and here we'll do a half a tile cabinet above that double stack oven in this stove in right above this cooktop all right so at first i wasn't gonna keep this little pantry right here but i think it's a nice little touch to add in here so i'm gonna just grab a door and stick there grab a double tile cabinet and slide right there refrigerator will go right beside it and then a full tile cabinet above it so we did all that now we need to add an island so i'm gonna just grab three of these cabinets and run them down like that place these island cabinets on the back side of this slot my sink in the center of that island and then put a dishwasher right here now now i'm looking at these cabinets they're a little separated so i'm gonna just turn on half a tile and slide those in a little bit and everything is still functional like that and this bottom oven is functional i don't think the top oven is functional but at least the bottom one is all right so i'm gonna place some bar stools at this island but while i'm doing that i want to tell you guys about my memberships they are now up um it's a five dollar one i think it's like 4.99 then it's a 10.99 or 9.99 one and a 14.99 and you have access to all the live streams and all that but i'm gonna be doing a whole little series over there it's kind of similar to the 100 baby challenge but it's definitely not the 100 baby challenge so if you guys want to see that you can subscribe to my memberships now wait i should have used some different bar stools okay nothing a lot like these bar stools right here so i'm gonna slide these to this island and then place these lights that turned into my favorite lights above my island i'm gonna place three of those we need to slide that one over i'm gonna just do a plain tile backsplash maybe something like this because this ties in with all the colors we need to turn off by room and turn on by wall slide that backsplash back there and i'm gonna slide it back here even though you won't be able to see it so i'm gonna go ahead and slide a nice big window back here this is gonna be the dining room space and then we'll do a 
slot and door right here and of course if we do doing a slot and door here i need to grab a deck in place right here so let's go ahead and pull this down add some stairs right here and i need to push them in one and now add a fence and i'm gonna use a fence that i haven't used before which is this white and gray fencing i like the way this looks and it kind of ties in with all the other stuff so i'm gonna just place that there and grab the matching rail and go with it and i'm gonna actually change up the foundation on this deck because i want this to actually look like a deck so i'm gonna place this little deck like foundation here back into the interior this back wall back here i want to turn this into an accent wall so i'm thinking maybe i use this gray and then dark gray accent wall place this dining room table here in the center and then run these black chairs with the little white tips on the legs all the way around this table all right boom so we got that figured out i'm thinking this right here i don't know what this was supposed to be but i know i'm gonna now turn this into the laundry room grab the same cabinets that i use in the kitchen and just run them down this wall like right to there and i know we got this separate washing dryer but for some reason i like to do the stack washing dryer so i'm gonna just grab the stack one in white and slide that in there like that run full tile cabinets down this wall and then a half a tile above the washing dryer and right here we'll actually remove that middle cabinet and place a sink in between there with some immaculate shelving above it okay and i feel like this is gonna look a little weird but i'm gonna grab this accent wall that i used in the dining room and run this through oh but i'm gonna run this through this laundry room place a door here and surprisingly we don't have to change up this floor plan because this floor plan is basically perfect the only changes i'm gonna make is i'm gonna remove this little room slash closet right here just so this walkway is a little more open and in this living room i'm planning on doing a custom fireplace so i'm gonna build a wall across here i'm gonna try to use a different swatch than what i normally use on my like fireplaces well maybe something like that and then we still got one more step to this we gotta build a platform in front of it so we just gotta simply build the wall there and then raise this platform up once and remove this wall and boom add that paint bag add a white platform on the front of it and then i feel like this little tile slash stone floor right here will go perfect with this so i'm gonna run this across the bottom of it or does that one look better i don't know y'all drop down in the comment section which one looks better one or two i feel like two looks a little bit better because it's a little darker and it kind of goes that dark color all right so i'm gonna grab this black glass and stick right here raise this platform up inside of this twice but like out the inside of this fireplace and it's up to you what kind of floors you use in the bottom of your fireplace i just like to use these gravel floors in this white color all right and i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a tv and stick on top of this fireplace so i'm gonna just go ahead and shrink this tv down and place that there all right so let's move over to these bathrooms um this bathroom right here has what was supposed to be like a custom shower which i kind of like but instead of doing a custom shower i want to do something functional so what i'm gonna do is just grab a tub this is still like a bill hack but it's gonna be a functional one except for it's just not gonna have a shower so i'm gonna slide that tub there grab these floors and slide in here draw a half wall in front of this tub place some white platform trimming on that and then i'm gonna grab the kit the towel that i use in the kitchen and place here and then put a little piece of that down here all right so in this bathroom still i'm gonna keep the little closet they got here so i'm gonna just place a door there grab two little cabinets out the kitchen and place here and then slide the toilet right beside that um with this sink i'm gonna do a custom sink so i'm gonna take this raise it up twice and just slide this inside this vanity and leave the handle poking out now let's go ahead and stick some mirrors along this back wall and i'm gonna pull this one down to the edge like that and then stick a window above this toilet all right so this next ba bathroom right here is just going to be a simple remodel it's basically got what it's already need it's got the toilet that i'm going to use so i'm going to just keep that all i got to do in here is change out the sink so i'm going to do the same type of sink with the bill hag i'm going to raise that up slide it in here and i'm not finna lie this looks better in just one cabinet than doing it with the two next thing i need to do is change this shower tub combo color which we're going to use that color change the floors in here in this bathroom i think we should just use the hardwood floors because that's the master bathroom over here i'm gonna stick a plain like little circle mirror in here and then just simply stick a picture above this toilet all right so let's make a closet in this bedroom i want to do it like this but we will have to square this off so i'm gonna just go ahead and square that off remove that wall and boom that's our little closet and then the room door will go here well actually we can do a custom closet in here because i just noticed this bedroom this is the master and this has a closet in the bathroom so we're gonna just go ahead and stick a door to that 
have closet there and then we're gonna use this as a fireplace so i'm gonna just simply grab this glass and stick right there put a nice little tv above it and add the paint all right so now that we got that figured out we can go ahead and furnish in here so i'm gonna just grab this bed right here place against this wall stick a window on each side grab a nightstand and stick underneath each of those windows place a lamp on top both of them and then we just simply need a picture above this bed and a dresser down here to the foot i'm thinking maybe we go picture above the dresser all right over here in this living room space this is a pretty big space so first thing we need to do is actually add a front door probably gonna end up using this mega front door so i'll place that there grab a couch and slide here and then get the love seat that goes with that couch and place like right there put a nice little coffee table in the center which i had to shrink down a little bit place a plant in the middle of the coffee table and i actually need to shrink this plant down one place it there and i feel like this living room wouldn't look right without a rug so i'm gonna place this rug here but i'm gonna place it facing this fireplace even though that looks a little weird maybe we should turn the table and it'll look a little bit better boom i feel like that makes this look 10 times better and then i'll just simply grab two of these little tables right here and then place on the side of these couches i'm gonna place one on each side maybe we'll do this one here no we'll do this one over here slide the couch over a little bit and then put this one over here i feel like that makes more sense and then stick a lamp on top of both of them wait why does the lamp keep turning upside down when i place in the center okay so we're gonna have to place a little bit off but at least they on the table wait they're floating okay we're gonna have to do is move the table out the way make sure it's lined up with the table and then try to center it in this space as best as we can like right there and stick the table right up under it like that and we got to do the same thing for this side so i'm gonna slide the lamp there and then place the table right up under it all right so i think we should put some big pictures up on these two walls so i might, might use two of these pictures right here like one there and then one here i don't know how that looks yeah maybe that'll work you should change the color of them and i think over here i should place some bookshelves on this wall so i'm gonna just line three of them up together and then grab two of these small chairs and stick over here with the small table in the center all right so the living room is decorated we got this second bedroom right here and we need to add a closet in here so all i'm gonna do is just simply take some space from this wall right here close that up and paint it and then add an archway to go inside of it all right so this is a smaller room so i'm gonna take this as like a smaller kids room so i'm gonna just stick a bunk bed in here and i'll place that like right there we could do a black chest like right here i'll slide it down a little bit like that and then we'll do the black dresser here with the tv above it and the reason why i didn't do that in the center is because we still gotta have room for the room door so i'm gonna just place the room door right there and in here is more of like a kid room so i'm gonna just like add some little paint in here right, so let's add a little rug down here beside this bunk bed i'm gonna shrink it down one and place it there and that's the kids room now i'm back here to like the more like a teenager's room so i see they already got a small closet in here but i think we should just make that a little bit bigger just to take up some of this space in here and then place a bed on this wall put a nice stand here oh and we gotta slide this bed over a little bit even though it's not gonna be even with that but you're gonna just slide it over a little bit I feel like we should do a little accent wall in here so i'm gonna just put a little accent wall back here add some lamps on top of these nightstands and then stick a dresser down here to the foot with the tv above it and then the archway for this room will go here for this closet all right so in this little space right here i feel like we need to fill that up with something so what i'm thinking is we just grab a small computer desk and slide right there and then grab a little chair push up under there with the computer on top and then of course above that we're gonna stick a picture all right so i didn't do this at the beginning of the video so i need to do it now all i gotta simply do is take some grass and run all the way around this house and then draw my driveway so i'm gonna draw a little walkway from this front door over to the garage and then connect the walkway from this day all the way to this front yard and i'm thinking we should make this garage way smaller because this is a little bit too big for a garage i feel like that's more of a reasonable size garage now we just need to add a door and now this house is complete all right so before i end this let's get a first person toward this house this is what the exterior looks like now let's go right here into this living room oh this actually looks nice i like the way this little furniture wait why did one of the bookshelves disappear so let's just go ahead and fix that real quick boom so that's the living room in the little bookshelf area right there let's go into this master Ooh, the door wait the door disappeared oh no the door is right here my bad okay so this is the master the master bathroom hmm. 
I forgot what's right here. Okay, that's just the closet for the master. This is the kids' room. It's pretty nice. I like the way this turned out. Then we got the kitchen right here with a little pantry and then the refrigerator. And this, like, I wanted to make this kind of like enclosed, but that's as far as I could get with that. Let's move over here to this little guest bathroom slash main bathroom. It's just simple. It's just got this little sink vanity with the bill hack and then the shower tub combo with the toilet and the picture above it. All right, so right here is this teenager's bedroom. We got the computer desk, bed with two nightstands, and then we got a nice little accent wall, TV and dresser, and a closet. Okay, I'm not even lying. This dining room is probably the best part of this house with this accent wall. Oh, I forgot about the laundry room. We got the laundry room right here also. I gotta add a light in here, but this is the laundry room. And like I was saying, this dining room is probably like one of my favorite parts of this house. I don't know, it's just something about it. It just looks nice with that big window right there. And we got a little deck right here. So that's the end of this video right here. I just wanted to do a quick renovation tonight um, to kind of get the renovations back going because I know I was dropping other content with the 100 baby challenge and stuff, which I'm going to be dropping another one of those videos soon. But I want to give you guys a quick renovation. So would y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think it is. This was like a freestyle renovation. I didn't look at this house before. I just went straight in and freestyled it. So y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think it is. Drop a like on this video. My membership is now up. So if you guys want to subscribe to that and get into that series, which I'm about to start it soon. Once we hit 10 members, then I'm going to start that. Once we hit 10 members, then I'm going to start the little challenge, the little series over there. So let's get to 10 members, and then we're going to start the series. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.